Jin, are you too busy with your work? Yeah, little bit. I need to collect some information for the school project. All right. Today, Uncle Francis is going to narrate the story of the first male Indian saint. Oh, about Sir Kuryakul Chavra? That is correct. A great social reformer, educationist, and visionary. Yes. Who else have thought of starting schools adjacent to every church and then call it Palikudam? Jim, he has many great achievements to his credit. He started the scheme of providing noon meals to students, which was later adopted by the rulers of Travancore to all the schools. Joan, do you know that the oldest existing newspaper in Malayalam also was started by him? Good morning, children. Good morning, uncle. It seems that both of you have already set the stage of discussing on the life and work of Saint Kuriyakos Chavra. Yes, uncle. We have been discussing on the great initiatives done by Father Chavra in Kerala at an era when society was largely divided on caste and creed. Kuriyakos Chavra was born on 10th February 1805 at Kainakari at Alipura. At the age of five, he started attending village school called Kalari. Listen, all of you start writing the Malayalam alphabets. Master, do we need to write all the alphabets? Hey, Kuriyakos, I know that you're very bright and you can write all, but others are not. So write the first ten alphabets. Okay, Master. Hey Manian, why don't you attend this colliery? You can learn a lot. Please come. No, Kuriakos. He belongs to a lower caste and he's not permitted to attend the colliery. Studies are meant only for the upper caste of the society. Master, he is also a child of God, and in front of God, all children are equal. No, Kuriakos. Your religion may be teaching that, but that is not the custom prevailing in the society. But that is not right, Master. All the children should be able to attend the school. Maybe when I grow up, I will allow all the children to study in my school. Ah, uh, that may not be easy, my boy. Society needs to change if such a revolution has to happen in Kerala. Father, praise and glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Mother. Praise and glory to Lord Jesus Christ forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Father, now that I have completed my primary schooling, I wish to join the seminary. My son, if God has decided that you have to become a priest, you will definitely find your vocation. Mother, you know that I have been discussing about this for quite some time with our parish priest. Yes, you have told me before. Your father and me will meet the parish priest and get his opinion in this regard. Thank you, mother. Based on the opinion of the parish priest, Kuriyakos joined the seminary at Pallipuram, where Pallakal Thomas Mallapan was the rector. But while he was in the seminary, his parents and brother died of an epidemic. My student deacons, within few days you will all be ordained as priests. All of you have been looking forward to this day and I want you to choose the field you will be devoting yourself after your ordination. Kuriyakos, did you put in any thoughts? Reverend Father, I have been pursuing this dream of right to education for all the children irrespective of their caste. I still remember Manian who could not attend my colony as he belonged to the backward caste. Very good, Kuriakos. I am glad that you have already thought about this. Only education can improve the status of the underprivileged classes of our society. Hey, children, why are you not attending the classes? This is the age in which you need to learn. Oh, was it Father Kuriakos? Father, don't you recognize me? It's me, Manian, who was your childhood friend. You, Manian, 
I really felt sorry for you when you were a child because you could not attend the culinary with me. Now the same fate is the fate of your children. That should not happen. I will not let that happen. Thank you, Father Kuriakos. But will this society accept these radical changes? God created man in his own image. It's the man who created a caste system in the society. All are equal in the presence of God and all the children should get opportunity to study. Thank you, Father. Maybe the fate of my child will be better than mine. Father Kuriakos traveled across the villages conveying this message of importance of education for all the children. There were opposition from upper caste people, but Father Kuriakos was convinced about his mission. Welcome back, Father Kuriakos. How was your experience? I realize that we have a great mission to be accomplished for the upliftment of our society. Now I really feel the need to join you fathers for establishing a congregation for achieving this objective. Oh, that's really good, Kuriakos. We need someone like you to champion the cause for the poor. We welcome you, dear. The foundation stone for the congregation was laid at Mananam in May 1831. This is how the CMI congregation was born. In 1855, he became the head of the congregation after the death of Father Podukara and Father Palakal. Jim, do you know what CMI stands for? I think it stands for Carmelites of Mary Immaculate. But, uncle, did he not start a congregation for sisters as well? Yes, Joanne. This is called CMC, Congregation of Mount Carmel, the first indigenous Indian congregation for women. Do you know Father Kuriakos has many firsts to his credit? He started the first printing press in Malayalam in 1846. The same year he started the Sanskrit school and introduced noon meals for children. Hello, children. Did you enjoy the meal? Oh, Father, I'm attending the school only because of you. My dear, what is your name? <sighs> Father, I am Manian's son, Kumaran. I could not join Kalari during my childhood. Now I have joined the school you started. I can study without feeling hungry. Yes, Father. We have 50 children in the school, all in their teens, and who have not attended the Kalari. Education is the only tool which will provide them a better future. I'm happy that more and more children are joining the school. Children are God's investment in the hands of the parents. Hey, Chago, Father Kuriakos has called the lady for a retreat. I have never heard of a retreat for the common people. In the past, it was conducted only for the clergy and sisters. That's true, Hauseb. Church is getting close to the people. Anamba and the women of the neighborhood have started prayer groups and are reciting rosary in the evening. They are following the words of Father Kuriakos. Hey. Did you all forget the way of the cross we conducted last Easter? People of other faiths also were surprised at the penance and procession done by us. They even say that the showers received on the peak summer day is a proof of our penance. <laughs> Christianity is becoming popular and more people are joining the faith. Eucharistic adoration and 40-hour adoration are also drawing a lot of faithful to the church. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm happy to see the unity that is evident among the believers and the respect shown by the members of the other religion towards us. Father, we try to pass on the Christian belief to our children, but many of us are not able to give proper awareness to them. That is true, Father. We can only make them learn few prayers, but cannot properly educate them on Christianity. We are providing some orientation classes for few people who will become Kathists. 
they will teach Catechism to our children and groom them in the Christian belief and teachings. Oh, that indeed is a great initiative, Father. From among you, who all could volunteer, may please offer help to look after the orphans, beggars, uncared sick and the old at the home of charity which we have started last month. Father, after completing the household works, we will go to the home of charity and help the inmates. O oh Lord Almighty, lead the flock, provide me the strength and courage to assist them. Another major contribution of Father Chavra was saving the Sairo Malabar Church from schism. Schism? What does it mean, Uncle? Schism means the formal separation of church into two fractions owing to differences in doctrine or teachings. But why did schism develop in the Christian community in Kerala? To understand that, you need to know the history of the Catholic Church in Kerala during the 1850s. Chaldean patriarchs used to send their bishops to Malabar region of Kerala for the faithful from the period of Thomas Kanana. Bishop Thomas Rokos was sent from Syria against the will of the Pope in 1860. Uncle, how did Father Kuryakos oppose a mighty bishop? He was only a prior of the CMI congregation at that time. <laughs> Good question, Jim. Have you not heard Pan is mightier than the sword? Bishop of Verapoli appointed Father Kuriakos as the Vicar General of Zero Malabar Church in 1862 to protect the faithful from falling into schism. Dear members of the Catholic Church, I have been explaining to all the priests of the various parishes about the apostolic letter written by the Pope on the teachings of the bishops deputed to Malabar from Chaldea. But, Father, that has been the practice followed by Syria for centuries. That is not with the approval of the Holy See, and the Pope has instructed the Church in Kerala not to follow the teachings by the bishops sent from Syria. Huh? Bishop Thomas Rokos has been already meeting the people and teaching them. Convey this message to all the brethren. The teachings of Thomas Rokos is against the teachings of the Catholic Church. I am going to travel across the entire Malabar region in educating the faithful to return to the true Church. Father Kuriako's strenuous fight, strong stance and effective leadership in defeating Thomas Rukos, intrusion became a success and saved the Church of Kerala from schism. Father, the construction of the school is getting complete. Good Father Devasi. All the churches will have a school attached to it from now on and they will be called Pallikuram. All the children will be provided good education and this education will make them socially responsible citizens. Food is for the body, so is wisdom for the intellect. As per the instruction of Father Kuryakos, all the churches of the Zero Malabar Church had schools attached to it. Father Kuryakos is called as a Renaissance leader of the Catholic Church of the 18th century. He contributed greatly for education, publications, establishing charity homes, spiritual awakening of the Laiti, and he lived the life of a holy monk. Uncle, is it true that Father Chavra knew seven languages? Yes, Joanne. He was a scholar in seven languages and has written several spiritual and literary books. He passed away on 3rd January 1871 at the age of 66. Did he pass away in Mananam, where he is rewarded today? No, Jim. His last days were at Kunamava, where he had established a monastery. He was buried there and then later his remains were transferred to Mananam. Father Chavra was declared a saint by the church in 2014. Is it not, Uncle? You are right, Jim. Father Chavra was beatified on 8 February 1986 together with Sister Alfonsa and canonized on 23 November 2014. Do you know what was the miracle which was approved by the congregation for the cause of saints for blessed Chavra? I know, Uncle. 
the miraculous cure for the congenital squint of Maria Jose Cotarital and an enabling a normal vision for the girl after the intercessory prayers to blessed Chavra at a stomp in Mananam. Excellent, Joanne. What else could be a befitting tribute from heaven to this visionary priest who brought about revolutionary changes to the society through education and other social reforms? Thank you, Uncle, for describing the life and work of St. Kuryakus Chavra. Bye, children. Bye, Uncle.